Oh, hey folks, how you doing? This is Paul. I'm going to keep my voice down. Um, taking you on a nature walk here. Um, in the big uh, shitty here, um, Hollywood, where I live in Fort Lauderdale. It's an out, it's a suburb of uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It's, it's nestled between Fort Lauderdale and Miami. Um, this right here is about as deep into the wilderness as I can get. But you can see that there's no traffic, no cars. It's very quiet here. And there's a cemetery over there. And there's a little irrigation channel here or whatever it is. And this is very quiet. And this is a school. But the school, there's no access to it. So, like, everything is closed off there. As a result, I would not walk over here at night, at least, you know, <laughs> unarmed or whatever. But this is about as uh, secluded a place as you can get. Now, that's the school over there, okay? And the reason I'm making this video is to show you what are burrowing owls. Now, I took a walk over here about five days ago. Maybe it was Tuesday or something. <coughs> and um, what I want to do is show you what burrowing owls are. They're not big. They're small. They're not too small, but they're small. And they're beautiful. They're certainly majestic creatures, but they're a pain in the neck, and I'll give you the rundown on them. Um, it is almost routine. Oh, there it is right there. There's one right there. There's one sitting right on the fence. What happens with these things is they're protected by law, and if they uh, go on your yard and they burrow onto the sidewalk, you don't edge the sidewalk. I mean, these things are serious. I've seen them go into ballparks. Uh, over here, like, uh, you know, the city ballpark. And if they nest over there, they close the ballpark. They, they close the field. This is a routine. It happens routinely. So there's one sitting on the fence. Uh, he may have, He's right there. So I'm going to ignore him, and I'm going to show it to you. And there's probably others over here. All these ropes that you see, this is all cordoned off for the birds, for the owls. They are highly protected, and you can't fuck with them. So enjoy. I believe that's an owl. And I'm just going to go very slowly, and you can take a look at it. And there'll be others here. We're going gonna, gonna to take a walk. See him sleeping? He's sleeping. He's woke up. Can you see him on the fence? Okay. So he's on the fence right there. See him? He's sitting on one leg. Okay. All right, so he's there. We're going to keep going. That's beautiful. Wow. All this means that there's nests here, and they burrow under the ground, believe it or not. That we're bound to see more. Okay, there's another one right there on the ground. He's hiding right there. You see him right there? You see him right there on the piece of wood? He's right there. Right there. See him. You're a sleepy owl, Mr. Owl. Are you an old owl? Are you just an old sleepy owl? You're not afraid of me at all? No? You're just going to turn your head? I thought you'd be running away from me. You're the one I saw and you were sitting on that little piece of wood yesterday or a couple days ago. You must be an old timer, huh? You're not scared of me at all? Well, I'm glad I could get a picture of you guys. I know that there was a nest here, but I didn't know that you would stay still for me. Well, you take care. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna disturb you. I certainly appreciate your majesty and your beauty. Take care, Mr. Owl. Well, did I deliver or not? I just certainly did deliver. Now what I'll do is, this is a cemetery over here and um, this is all very, very quiet. Again, like I told you, there's virtually nobody here. And, uh, you know, as a result, they dump garbage here occasionally and stuff like this. But we were really, really lucky to see that owl because he must be an old timer. Um, I, that's the one I think I saw 
about five days ago, and he didn't move. And that one just seems to be content to uh, just stay put. Now, I don't see any more uh, cordoned off areas uh, with, with rope, so I guess that's it. I don't see any more on the fence, but boy, did I deliver. Oh, there's a blue jay. Boy, what beautiful color that is. There's a blue jay over there, and blue jays are tough birds. Boy, they can, they are mean little birds. If I was another bird, I wouldn't want to tangle with it. Anyways, okay, so that looks like that's about it. Anyways, these little burrowing owls are uh, really majestic little creatures. And I'm glad I took you and show you, showed you today because that little one was, uh, the last time I came here, he was sleeping just like he is now, he or she, except he was sitting on top of that little bamboo thing. So uh, obviously they like it where it's very quiet and undisturbed. And uh, I thought it was terrific. Oh my goodness, what is this? What is this? Oh, it's dog food and it's, somebody threw it out. I thought that was a whole thing of dog food that somebody threw out. But uh, in this uh, redneck haven over here, don't count on it. Anyways, you don't, you, you don't see any of these owls here. But um, anyways, I uh, pretty much... Uh, Succeeded at what I wanted to tell you and now you've seen Burrowing owls and how beautiful they are and if you have a cell phone where you can make it You know get bigger or something take a look at them because usually they have spots on them white spots and They are such beautiful birds and it's really hard to see them up close. That was really very unusual So um, I've never been able to get close to one like that uh, knowingly uh, that's why I told you I think they might have the ability to kind of read your brain thoughts, your your brain pattern, you know. Anyways, take care, folks. I'm glad I got that for you. Oh, there's another bird, but it's something like one of those water birds that walk around the water. Uh, all right, folks, take care. I'm glad I got that for you. Bye-bye.